day becomes the night, night becomes the day. So true. Break, something, 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 something. Break on through to the other side. Can't see shit, brother. I'm wasting my time. Don't st stop getting Megan Trainer songs stuck in my head, please. We were talking about the doors. Then out of nowhere, just said, even with nothing on, I made you look. I made you look. Okay, rest me till the morning. Turkey bacon or fake crab? Actually, I guess I've caught something strange in my net. Um, I grew up eating turkey bacon on occasion. I don't find it that weird. Hello. He does go to his house now. Yo, it's a... They didn't, but I, I used it as a jumping off point because I saw a guy I follow on Twitter scrapes the flesh out of his salmon and then fills the skin with rice and rolls it up and eats it. Yeah, I know. That's what I was getting at. And then people in my chat were like, sounds good. Meanwhile, I'm like, I took a shower today. People were like, showering's bad for your skin. It's like, this was such a twisted world when normalcy is, is seen as insane. Nobody said that. Some of you thought it for sure, <laughs> probably. You listen. Silence. That means I'm not crazy yet. Please, sell what you need, then leave. I must deal with this creature. All right. You got any apple fritters? What's your opinion on cold showers? I think that they're, like, really uncomfortable <laughs> most of the time. Occasionally, like, a lukewarm shower hits kind of hard. If you're, like, really, really hot. But otherwise, like, a cold shower is like, no thanks, man. No thanks. I'm gonna just keep the parts for now. We don't have the money to buy anything immediately anyway. Take me to the ship ride. I would like to purchase this flexible fishing pole. Place it right here. Takes three hours to install. That's valuable fishing time, but that's okay. I would like to sell you my basic fishing pole then. I would like to go to my storage. I would like to sell you my simple skimmer as well. That's a big upgrade for us. Now we can, we, we can fish very nicely. Now we could take, a, we could leave our net and we could take a reel and catch deeper fish, right? Or larger fish. Send it to cargo, please. And then stalls takes four hours. Motherfucker. <laughs> I think, here's the way I'm thinking of it right now, okay? I guess we don't have to spend any money every day. What do we care if it takes four hours? We'll just sleep till morning. Um... If I'm going to be fishing, we should take a rod and a reel. If we're doing quests, we should do um, the net so that we're catching some fish while we're out there as well. Makes perfect sense to me. Now, can't afford... Can't afford those just yet. That's okay. We do have better engines, right? No? We haven't unlocked them yet? Fair enough. It's several hours each time to swap it. Yeah, but like, what's the rush? And we'll get those on the way back. And let's, let's catch some, I mean, it's already 2 p.m. Let's try to catch some serious stuff. Oh, dredge me. Forgot about the dredge spot. 
This game is hot. This is new hotness for sure. Tell your friends who loved the Outer Wilds. There's a new ticket in town, and it's called Dredge. Sorry, I can't tell you anything about it. To tell you something about it would completely, irrevocably spoil the experience. How convenient is that? Arrow squid me. Irrevocably? I'm sorry to inform you. Irrevocably is definitely a word. You have just irrevocably um, illuminated for chat your maladroit grasp of the English language. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to have stunted on you like that. Don't be mad at me just because I watched the Larry Sanders show. Okay, we watch out for the rocks. Yo, what's up, brother? This has got, like, most exciting day of fishing ever. Where did that ship go? <laughs> Just to be observed is a dream come true. Just to be seen. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think we're getting this crab this time. That's okay. We'll get it next time. I'm getting maladroit with the boys at the bar. Do not go to the jukebox and play Dope Nose, okay? The fishmonger's door is barred from the inside. Okay, well, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> I have all this rotten fish in my inventory, man. What am I supposed to do with this? He ate that shit. He should not have eaten that shit. It's okay. Just eat the fish real quick and then shove some rice in the carcass. Screw. You're right. It's my fault. I shouldn't have passed him the booth. Rest me till the morning come. The fishmonger's door is barred from the inside. Okay, all of my uh, fish are gonna rot, I'm sure. What's your status? Still fresh? Do you think that... Do you think that the lady on the other island would buy them? She probably needs some food, right? Hang on, there's gotta be a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh! Elden Ring. Now this one, hang on. My God, the man's actually a genius. Can you believe this? Squeak. Three years ago, that would have taken me four hours. Shark me? I'd love a shark. I just can't fit it in my inventory. Install the net. I'm, I'm missing the item, unfortunately. It's, uh, it must be broken. Please tell me you have a hankering for some fish. Oh, no, you're right. I replaced it. Builder. Ah. Hey, thanks again. I found this while I was unpacking. You should take it. It's a book. If you ever need to use the dock or store stuff here, be my guest. Okay, well, it would be nice to store some stuff, I suppose. But for now, we'll just read the book. 
then my ass will be sailing away, I guess. I guess I could dock there, and I won't go crazy. You know what I'm talking about? Just enjoying life on the waves here? Can I handle this? We're gonna have, like, a Wilson moment. The MCA Andy? You mean Andy Griffith? I think I'm in trouble, that's... Ah! <laughs> no, 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 no. If you didn't know what a whale was, you know, like back in the prehistoric days, I know they knew, by the way, because I'm sure you're going to get at me for this one. I know they knew. Humanity knew what a whale was in the year 2000 BC. That doesn't mean every individual knew, right? Like some people were like, oh, that's a whale. Some people were like, what the hell is even that? Can you imagine just being out on like a canoe or something and you saw a whale? You would be like, you'd, I would never recover from that personally. Oh. Cast away. You're a sight for these sore eyes. What happened? I washed up here. I thought my crew would come to find me, but yours is the first ship I've seen. Did the boys send you looking for me? Nope. Can you get me to Little Marrow, stranger? I should be able to catch them next when they stop by. All right, but I'm going to have to dump a fiddler crab. And another crab just to fit your horny ass. You can do this. He takes six squares. There's six squares remaining. It's... We're so back. It's so easy to do this. <laughs> we're so back. We're... <laughs> We're so back. Um. Oh! He climbs aboard. Okay, Little Marrow is our hometown, right? He's unbelievable. The shape rotator. That's greater, Meryl? Ah, little Meryl is this one. Most original North American town name. You ever read Swordfish? Brother, are you trying to get me canceled? Isn't that on, like, the endangered species list? The sweet, rank smell of civilization. I've not got much on me. However, I have a ring. That'll do. It's good luck to any captain who holds it. On to better horizons, friend. Farewell. Traitor? I, have you found anything special lately? Mmm, yes. Yes, I have. My storage? Oh, the storage is shared. Let's go. I mean, I, I can't sell to the fishmonger anyway. We might as well just rest until dawn. That ring looked important? I doubt it. I don't think it's a quest item. That was for a quest? This isn't Diablo. The back of this island has something marked on your map. 
Oh, the back of Big Island has something marked on my map. So true. Okay. It isn't. It wouldn't have let you sell it. See? Now, you might also be the blind leading the blind, but you're reinforcing what I already believed was happening. So as a result, I'm more inclined to trust you. Holy cow. Can you... Ha Fishmonger's still closed, man. When I tried, when I did sell all to the, um, to the trader, it didn't sell the belt buckle before. So I'm operating, listen, we miss one quest, I don't care. If it soft locks the game, we'll just give it a negative review on Steam. I hold the power here. I was really having a good time with the game. I think it might be one of the best games of the year until ornate key. We're so back. Pursuit updated. I'm going to assume that... What pursuit was this, man? It must be the, the collector, right? Now sell the key. <laughs> it's updated? Oh, it opens the workshop, probably. That makes sense. Game's amazing. I heard it was really good. I watched my friend play it on Twitch for 10 hours. Unfortunately, I purchased it. I can't seem to get it to run on my 2009 Chromebook. I sent the devs an email about this four seconds ago and they haven't replied yet. We'll update my review if something changes. Speak to me. Work, workshop me. I will go inside. It's locked. I will go to the ruined mansion. Well, you have something, don't you? You show him the key. Is this all? Where is the lock? <laughs> it seems the pieces we've looked for have traveled further than I anticipated. He turns a few pages in his book and mutters something low under his breath. She mutters something underneath her breath. I studied the... I muttered something underneath my breath. She studied the lines on my face. I must admit, she got a little, I got a little uneasy when she bent down to tie the laces of my shoes. You know what I'm talking about here? Tangled up in blue. A burst of light fills your vision. You stagger back briefly. Ability unlocked. Haste. My intuition tells me the current may have carried some debris to the southeast towards Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. Anything else? No, nope, that's fine. I mean, I'm putting all my fish in storage, man. If they're not fresh later, then so be it. Rot. Okay, I'll probably, like, discard that. It's not like, like, the ocean's not running out of fish. This isn't... I just threw out, like, a, oh, I'm okay with throwing out a fresh one. How are you doing? Fresh, fresh, whatever. Easy come, easy go. Haste adds speed to your engines. Motherfucker. But it increases panic and engine heat. Dully noted. Okay. I would say for now, why don't you rest me till the morning come? Never mind. I'm going to go back to um, our town and repair. Haste me. Ah, you really thought I was going to let that happen? Psych! Saw a negative review on Steam for a game the guy had played for 1.3 thousand hours, and he also played another 20 hours after the negative review. When that happens, Valve should delete your account. That's just my two cents. If, um, if you don't like something, you should not spend 1,300 hours on it. You being like, it's, there's like a paradox in here. 
how can I trust you if you spent 25 work weeks doing something you didn't like for leisure? Like, I, you can't be a credible source because you don't even trust yourself. So why are you writing a review in the first place? Maybe the game got worse? Why did they play another 20 hours of it? Have some, have some self-respect. Assign yourself to something else. Maybe it got better after that. Well, then change your review, dude! That okay, sorry. Uh, she walks towards the dock with a confused look on her face. Oh, it's you. You were expecting... Your engine, it sounds like... I'm sorry, I thought you were an old friend. Bro, I need... This is not funny. I need to sell my fish. Repair my everything, please. I'm not even going to take a net with me because I can't sell fish anyway. I've eaten McDonald's a thousand times. I would still leave a bad review. I disagree. I mean, now you're you're getting two different things, uh, like, ameliorated here. Don't stop if you if you don't like McDonald's. Stop eating at McDonald's then. It's not the only restaurant in the world. No. I okay. Well, f then then you like it. If you choose to eat at McDonald's, then and you and you've got options, then you like it. Your game still says Death Road. Okay, not on my screen. Thank you for the heads up, though. I, I, I'm happy to check that. Hello, Mayor. What can I do for you? Please open up the fishmonger's business. Hire another fishmonger. Okay, let me look at my map. No, no, I'm gonna rest. You want me to go all the way over here? Are you insane? Oh, he's back. <laughs> anyway, what can I do for you? Shut, shut up, dummy. You piece of junk. Shut up and buy my fish. Your ass... I'm sorry, if you're the only fishmonger in town, you don't have the luxury of calling in sick, okay? You're doing a, a necessary service. You want the luxury of sick days? Move to a town with two fishmongers. We're going across the sea. I've got your letters. You've got my songs. I'll tell you, I'm, I'm also going to try to catch a shark while we're here. Bronze whaler. Seems pretty good. How about another? Right there? Right there? Right there? Bothers me a little bit, but that's okay. No, stop typing. I am your mother. Please listen to me. <laughs> stop all that mansplaining. Hey, listen to me. Your favorite Limmy show sketch? There's a lot of good ones. Um, I I really like the one where he fails at telling a joke. And then he he has to do some soul searching. And then he tells the a similar joke at a new party and everybody laughs and he says, back on top. Holy cow, it's a long trip, man.
Use haste? No, it makes me panic, man. That's scary. I was watching some Limmy clips yesterday. I was searching for, there is nowhere near us! Um, no thanks. And also, I'm from the future, I'm not your dad, I knew your dad. Go inside, you'll find something called a computer. Inside, you'll find something called electricity. Here we are, at Ingfell. Please tell me there's a fishmonger here. What is it? Do you need help with anything? I've been trying to prepare a special meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. Around here, we consider aged conger eels to be a particular delicacy. You may say they're rotting, but they're delicious if prepared correctly. Normally, we bury them in the ground. Sanest introduction I've ever had to another individual. I can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. Sure, I can bring you an aged conger eel. Thank you. You'll be decently compensated. Where can I catch a conger eel? They inhabit the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. You may have to venture into the passageways of the cliffs to find them. Oh, they also only come out at night. Mostly. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 where can I sell my fish here? We catch our fish ourselves, so we don't have any need for buying any, but there's a merchant that travels around. She's usually anchored across the bay. Okay. What is it? Are there any shipwrecks around here? The real wreck here is the settlement at Gale Cliffs. Anything else? Okay. I can sell my fish to this other fishing boat. I've become Costco. I'm the wholesaler. Hey, hey, hey. I know she said we catch our own fish, but then she asked me to catch a fish for her. But that wasn't a fish. That was an eel. I'm not your dad. I need your dad. Oh, hello. Traveling merchant. Ahoy there. I'm a traveler and a merchant. If you have any fish to sell, I'll take them on board and then sell them elsewhere. Okay. Um, on this side of the pontoon, I'll buy any fish you want to sell. I also keep a stock of crab pots here for sale. Okay. Sell. Dude, the sharks sell like crazy. I think this is our new base of operations for now. So why don't you go ahead and give me... Give me two crab pots. You're right, we could just kill her, I suppose, and then take her net. Um, we don't have any materials right now. Do we, do we need any repairs? No, we don't need any repairs. Okay. I guess we should talk to them at least. Maybe they got something. Kill! Bing! Do you need help with anything? I've been trying to collect records of where each species of fish is located. Sure, I can help with that. I need to track down oarfish, gulper eel, goliath, tigerfish, and coelacanth. Mm. What did you want to know? That's alright, I'm okay. About those rare mm. fish? Never mind, I got everything I need. Just the coelacanth, no big deal. What's up with this, uh... I don't think I'm going to go over there. Ooh, sending out an SOS. Artifact Manifest. Sorted. My dude's doing okay. Just watch out for the tornado. The heck is this? Press F when the ball reaches the zone at the top to reel faster. Stonefish. This is like a survivor challenge that they do on the final episode. Give me a quick rotation, please. Oh, the trophy fish. Oh! You didn't think I could puzzle that one out, did you? No, go ahead and admit it. You didn't think I had it in me. But I did have it in me. And now, some lucky... Oh, I gotta go back and sell it to the other... Whatever, I'll rest for tonight. I'm not rinsed. I've never been rinsed. 
I have a CD of all the good Detroit techno cuts from the 60s, and another box set from the 70s. Place me here. Superficial damage. That's just like when the Aqua Bus pulls up to Granville Island anyway. Like, you, you might bump into the dock a little bit. But, you know, nobody's getting... Uh, Nobody's getting rattled too hard. So true, what the hell is that? <laughs> the Aqua Bus, it, it drives uh, around False Creek, it takes you to Granville Island, takes you to English Bay, I think, Science World. Uh, yeah, it's a little Aqua Shuttle. It's a water taxi. Favorite Granville Island beer? You're gonna make me cyberbully. 95 bucks? One of those fish was gold, dude, and another one was purple. Okay, return me. Return me. Let's put some crab pots out here. Plenty of crabs here. Let's cross over, put another one down over there. A few. Honestly, it'd be better for the crabs if they stopped hanging out in the... so close to the towns. Now, let me look here. Catch rare fish. Deliver rotting conger eel. Search for relics. Let's go see what's going on, going on in this town over here. These might be new fish as well. I, I haven't seen these lads before, have I? Oceanic perch? We might get some... Disturbed ones as well, that go ooh ah ah ah. Or not. Yo, a one piece Andy is such a valuable piece of uh, fish though. It can fit anywhere. We have these before, right? Yeah, okay. Stonefish. The 4x4, four four, not as valuable as a, as a fish. Or as a, as a perch, I should say. Not as valuable. What the? Oh, dredge me! Er, 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 er. Metal scraps. You know what? Put these lads down here. Fill in the gaps. Dredge me once more. Holy cow, it's it's fully loaded over here. An old man emerges from the broken building. What do you need? This place doesn't seem safe. Why do you live here? Now I'm all alone. I could help you move to Ingefell. My brother would never, you see. I used to live there. He was a whaler back in the day. Things were bad. We fought a lot. I took the family crest. I stole it from him, and I can't return without it. Okay, where is it? That's where the problem lies. That creature dragged debris from the houses down to its wretched burrows. The crest went down with it. I'll look for it. I literally just met this guy. He's like, okay, you can risk your life. No big deal. Can I sell my damn fish in here? What can I say I am a people pleaser? Told you to be careful. Eh, don't you go dying on my account or whatever. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Research part, that's insane loot, dude. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, you really thought I was going to get smoked there. Oh, man. Not me. Oh, no, not me. I've never lost control. Come face to face with the man who sold the world. You're right, I should probably do some eel, some eel time.
What, you don't like Nirvana? Hello, Chibli. Chibli, you gonna play some Dredge? The game drought's over, brother. No, I'm gonna play Alt F4 too. Honestly, for you, that's a better choice, I think. I'm inclined to say, well, just sell all fish. It's good. It's good. We got $296. That's good. Snooze me here momentarily. Chibli won't play Resident Evil 4. I've, I've never seen Chibli play a horror game. I'm just going to say it, Chibli. You're not beating the scaredy cat allegations. He actually did, though? Didn't he play Resident Evil Village? If he did, I wasn't there, so my point stands. I played Village? What the heck? My mistake. Appears I would judge you too harshly. My bad, my bad. I wasn't familiar with your game. Chibli beat the scaredy cat allegations. <clears throat> it's true. He played it for the large woman. Yeah, that's why, he, like, everybody played it, right? Yeah, the, the engines can't move. Like, there's parts of the boat that are just specific for, like, like this can only hold a reel or nets. This can only hold a rod. So you gotta, you can upgrade it, though, to make it a little bit more flexible. So please stop with the Megan Trainer. The, the Inception Megan Trainer. It keeps getting stuck in my head. I'm gonna rest, like, until it's nighttime. Or close to nighttime. And then I'm going to... Maybe they purchase... Uh, maybe they sell lights over here. And then I can take a better light and go into the cliffs and, and get some aged conger eels. You guys remember Darva Conger? The contestant on Who Wants to Marry a Millionaire? No? No? Nobody remembers that? Oh. Kind of sad, honestly. Like, that was a pretty big moment of the early 2000s. Can you spell that? D-A-R-V-A -A space capital C-O-N-G-E-R. Darva Conger. The show was Who Wants to Marry a Millionaire? She, um, married a millionaire. And then it turns out the guy was not a millionaire and also might have had a history of like assault charges and then she became like mildly famous for a while now joe millionaire was a few years later i still be like joe millionaire is not um it's like the most offensive reality show of all time where it was like the bachelor but they told all the female contestants that the dude was a millionaire but actually he was just a guy so then when they got to the end and, like, he picked one girl, they sprung the news on her that was like, he's actually just a normal guy. Do you still want to marry him? And I think because she was on TV, she was like, eh, yeah, of course. And then, like, a month later, she was like, oh, we broke up. And you can't even be mad at her because, like, the show started under false pretenses. Like, the show was be a trophy wife for a guy who has a lot of money. And then at the end, they were like, oh, but didn't you marry him for love? You're like, no, I auditioned for a show called Marry a Rich Guy. If the show was called Find Love, and then they were like, by the way, he's not rich, and you walked, then you'd be like, that person is being kind of rude about it. But the show is called, like, you know, Marry a Man Who's Rich. That's the whole premise. Oh, Scooty, thanks for the raid. As usual, we're ranting about nothing at all. <laughs> I appreciate it. You're playing a cool game and paying zero attention to it. 
There were some other stories or some other shows that were also kind of toxic back in the day. The one I always go back to was Superstar USA, where it was American Idol, but they were trying to find the worst singer. Oh, I didn't even buy a light. They were trying to find the worst singer in America, but they didn't even tell the contestants that they were trying to find the worst singer. They told the contestants, like, oh, you guys are amazing. And then they had, like, a live show with the 12 worst singers they found. And they told the audience that it was, like, a make-a-wish thing. <laughs> so that the audience would cheer for them, even though they were all, like unbelievably bad singers and dancers and then at the end in front of like all the people they said surprise you won but actually we were trying to find the worst singer in america <laughs> so, the early 2000s were really mean man it was like insanely toxic and there was the joe schmo show which was like big brother but then only one of the guys was real and then there were like 11 actors so it was kind of like the Truman Show meets Big Brother. They were doing all sorts of crazy stuff with um, with reality TV back in the day. How'd they get away with that? I mean, it wasn't like they had to get away with it. Like, people were, like, watching it. I watched it. I was 14 or something. Like, that's the right age to be toxic, I guess. But I can't afford this. I'd like to get a refund. I can't fit it on my boat. Wait, I bet I can fit it on my boat if I just do some research. I need... I need a light spot on my boat. I need more space for lights. Anybody know how to get some... Folks, I'm trapped in the lift. You gotta do it at the dry dock. Okay. Plus one light spot. Do I not have the, the tools for that? Hang on, let me check my storage. I have scraps. I also need wood. Is that the other thing I needed? I need two wood, one metal. Okay, I understand. Um, in that case, for now, just give, me a, just give me a light, man. I'll take one of these. I know there's a light spot, but the, the bigger light required two spots. Oh, I didn't mean the rest. Okay, try to make it before the morning come. I mean... Are you eels? You don't look very eel-like to me. I need to go into the cliffs. I think my dude's gonna panic and die. You could dredge me real quick if you want. Holy cow, this thing is zooming. It's Super Hexagon meets Dave the Diver. Bag of doubloons! You got eels for me? Blackmouth salmon. Bam a lamb. Oh, I've screwed it up and I lost my trophy. Your light turned off? I guess my dude's getting a little scared or something, right? Oh, but it's the morning. Yo, get owned! Get owned! I didn't go crazy because the sun came up. Joke's on you. Unspeakable horrors that shall not be named. Whoa! What is this? A pile of loose debris. Appears to be, appears to be teeth. Well, you know, it's not really my business. I'm no dentist. Let's 
saying this to Vancouver driver. Stop, okay? I'm a completely adequate driver. I didn't say good. I'm like, I... You're, I you'll be safe in my car. You're not going to see any, like, cool pit maneuvers or something like that, but you'll be safe in the vehicle. You'll arrive at your destination unperturbed. I would not be on Canada's worst driver. Absolutely not. I'm not saying I'm Canada's best driver. Like, if it was, like, black ice and I slammed on the brakes, like, I don't know if I could stop a controlled slide, okay? Maybe I could. I did grow up driving in the winter. I was, I'm Canada's most average driver. I might be Vancouver's best driver. That's true. Didn't really think about that. So on my fish. I'd like to repair my boat as well. Canada's worst driver? You mean Nicholas Latifi? Bro! So true. I think. Why would you slam on the brakes on ice? I mean, I don't know. Maybe because I'm like driving and then, like, a fucking deer jumps out in front of me. I understand, like, you're not supposed to slam on the brakes when you're on ice. All I'm saying is, like, sometimes things take you by surprise. You know, driving's not a, a turn-based game. Worst thing to do is slam on the brakes. Like, li I'm sorry, I, I have to do this to you. What you're saying is like you you're you think you're throwing pearls of wisdom at me. You're basically saying like if you're in a car don't crash. Like I get it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just saying like you know, if you're d driving along all of a sudden like a deer runs out in front of you, your first impulse might be like, "Hold on, I'm entering uh, tactics mode. Pause time." Well, let me consider this, Chad. I'm on ice, so I can't possibly touch the brakes and yet somehow I need to dodge this deer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press, I'm going to immediately press my horn frame zero to scare the deer away from being in front of me. You know, you got to, I mean, that's why you have to practice it in advance, I guess. I'm just saying, you, 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 I mean, if you can go vats, more power to you, but. Not enough space for all the items. I just lay on my horn all the time. This is recycled bit. Um, honking your horn unless you're doing it to alert a car that's about to hit you immediately is like the most selfish action you can take while driving. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. If you are honking your horn to alert a driver that like the light has changed or that they're about to bump into you and you're in their blind spot, that's completely acceptable. If you just get mad at someone and honk the horn, you, you have become, you have responded to negativity with negativity and you've made the world a worse place. Because now, my ass was just driving along, somebody cut you off, and you got, a, you got pissed off about it, you lay on your horn, now me and everybody else around me is going, what the hell did I do? What the hell did I do? You got to, you use the, a, a polite honk, like a huh. That's what you do if somebody is at a, re, a green light, but not going. Otherwise, you, if somebody's merging into you, you go, huh. If you get mad, you just give people the finger. You don't, you don't honk. Because you're punishing like people who had nothing to do with the interaction in the first place. This should go to my storage. Yes, storage, storage, storage. Put the crab pots out. It is an AOE attack. Clap it down. Oh, I should have repaired my crab pots. You're absolutely right. Pick up 
pick it up, please. Great music, too. Giving the finger to random drivers on the road is a terrible idea. Yeah, I've, like, done it a lot, but I think I'm going to stop. Because people do, like, be killing people for per perceived slights to their ego these days. So, I think I'm just going <laughs> to... I'll just suck it up and, like, go home safely. Let me go... What was it? I'm repairing my... I'm repairing my stuff. Oh, out of the Silver Tongue book? Thank you! Free book. It's like having an executive membership. Did I finish the other one? I did. Equipment types that use their ability will lose it 10% slower. Art of the Silver Tongue. 10% cheaper prices in shops? That's just my guess. It's been a fast stream today. New games will do that to you. I think we got one more modicum of fishing, and then we're gonna... Modicum! And then we're gonna, um... Then we're gonna, um... Then we're gonna go. Why is my... Uh, I've been eaten by a, um... I got eaten by a monster. I'm gonna go back and repair. I'm out of here. Where am I? Dredge, though? No, there's a scary monster back there. How would this blunt rotation be? Mr. Beast, Chibli, and Bjarn's Sharstroop. So that's... Two, um... Heroes of... Philanthropy. Help me. And then um, also Chibli. I would probably I would probably smoke weed with Jarn's Sharstroop and then ask him why he made C++ so fucked up. Why didn't you just make it like C Sharp instead where it's just like it's C Sharp is like the closest thing to getting chat GPT to program for you. Like, you open Visual Studio, and it's like, what do you want to do? And you're like, I don't know, fucking guy.moveright, open parenthesis, four, close parenthesis, compile, and then that fucker's move into the right four. You know? C++, I don't even want to know. what It's just been so long. I never put any graphics on the screen in C++. I was just uh, outputting shit to the damn console. <laughs> 